And I'm going to play as my favorite guy in the world, Wolfgang, the strong man. Everything he does is strong and very impressive. For instance, he's just confident. You hear that big uh, tuba-like voice? He just, he just doesn't care. He's, he's a manly man. He's strong. Nothing scares him except for the dark and monsters. One nice thing about Wolfgang is it kind of mixes things up. I know a lot of people play this game and they don't really explore the other characters or they just play Wilson because the beard, but these other characters add a little bit more of an element, make it a little bit more fun. So that's where I'm kind of enjoying this part of the experience of playing as Wolfgang. All right, there we go. All right. So, how are you guys doing today? I'm having actually a pretty fantastic day. So we're gonna gather some twigs. We're gonna gather some grass here. So, probably for fast forward all this for you because this part's kind of boring. All right, there we go. Yes. Now let's build an axe. So you don't have to do the axe right away. Sometimes building the torches is a little bit more useful. But in this case, we're gonna build an axe because I really want some wood and some pine cones. They're delicious. You can't, you can't eat pine cones. I uh, know I said that. I can't back that kind of stuff up, people. All right, chopping down some wood like a very efficient lumberjack. I mean, that's what a strong guy's gotta do to keep his physique up after all, right? Okay, so you never really start fully fed, I don't think. Got a lot of these berries. Luckily, these berry bushes are plentiful. All right, eat some of these. Power Wolfgang up a little bit. Make his belly full and his muscles mighty. There we go. See? He's a mighty guy. All right, now we don't have to carry all that food around so I can fit more stuff. It's about to get to the evening. So right here, we're going to create some fire, because he doesn't want a torch. So we're going to start a torch, and we're going to find some areas to make charcoal, because I really want some charcoal. In fact, actually, just survival 101, don't be kind to anything, right? So we almost burnt ourselves there. So we're going to burn some of this stuff down, because it's getting to the evening, and we could really use some charcoal for a fire. So as much of an environmentalist as I like to think I am, I'm going to basically burn a whole lot of stuff. So spoiler warning, trigger warning, whatever you want to call it, I've warned you, I'm going to be pretty savage when I play this. And it's actually a funny story. When I first uh, introduced this game to my niece when she was like five or something, my sister started thinking she was a sociopath because essentially <laughs> she would kill everything by burning down entire swaths of forest. So essentially she was not only a clear cutter, uh, not clear cutter, uh, clearing the forest by burning, but she was murdering everything and picking up the remains in order to survive. And what was most frustrating about it was she got way further ahead than I did. Of course, that was the original Don't Starve. <laughs> this one's a little different because now you can both people, which is great. But let's see, oh, if that mole goes in there, we're going to get to actually benefit a little bit, just like my darling niece did. Oh, yeah, I need your tender, delicious flesh. Burn! Burn, mole, burn! It's not going to happen, probably. Unless it just did. Nope. He's got to pop up. And I almost lured him. And I got a little bit burnt. But let's see if I can trick him here. Go there. And I got food. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hunting is essential. You gotta kind of take it as you can go because you will run out of food. As happened in my last episode where we were very successfully showing you a couple of things with Wilson, but you know, that worked out really successfully. Okay, that was not good. So yeah, you really do have to keep him full to keep him at full strength. I'm not sure exactly what the benefits are. I'll look them up for you guys for the next episode. But 
Um, yeah, it's supposed to make you stronger. Uh-oh. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but my sister's now playing Don't Starve. No. I'm going to probably blink that out just for privacy's sake, but I know she's playing. Bees. There's certain beehives that these bees will come out and murder you because they're killer bees. That's literally what they're called. And, you know, more power to you, but you're not. I'm not. No, I don't play that. All right, so we got some wood. So we're going to post up here because it's about to be night. We found beefalo. So luckily, this episode looks like it's going to get started real quick. So beefalo are what I was originally looking for in my other videos. Um, beefalo are cool in the fact that they provide you with wool, meat, and poop. And yes, poop is something we want to find because poop fuels things. Not only can you burn it, but you can make food from it. I mean, I, I, know, I, I know how that sounded, but no, you're not going to eat the poop. You're going to use it to replenish these wonderful pieces of grass and other items as you go around crafting higher level tier two elements, I believe you call them. And you can hear them snoring right now. But essentially, this is a fantastic spot. I'll be able, I'm close to a forest. I've got some beefalo here. That's a great starter area. It'll hopefully get us to survive the cold, cold winter night. So, now that we've found this, we've got a new day, and we've got one beefalo, two beefalo, two beefalo poops anyway. We've got some stuff here, yes, and we have a rock, that's great. Don't make them mad, beefalo do not like being touched either, and when they get hot and horny, they're even worse. I'm kind of in his personal space. That's them letting you know you're in their personal space. It's their personal space. You don't want to mess with their personal space. Their personal space is personal and valuable. All right. So yes, I'm collecting poop because I'm actually about to, um, hopefully I can bring this stuff over to where I am at. I can build up, yes, rocks. Rocks are what I need. I do need to find gold, though, because I do need to get a science machine going. But I think in this savanna zone, I might get lucky and find some. Or at least I will have enough rocks to establish a semi-permanent base. And luckily enough of these to build traps. Just like in episode one, we're going to set these bad boys all over. Because trapping is very useful in early stage, and not everyone actually cares enough to do it. But if you do, well, you can potentially catch these rabbits with very little work on your part. All you have to do is come back here. And on the map, you'll actually see, if you zoom in, if you zoom in, you can see the little traps here. See that? And I can see that there's rocks around too. So, we're going to go harvest some of those. Those rocks, I mean. Let's finish our sentences raft because that's going to be another thing I'm sure people are going to comment on. Not just the audio. Hopefully y'all are hearing this audio nice and clear. My microphone's over there, that's why. It's because I'm incredibly lazy. Alright, huge savanna zone. We've got rocks. We just have to find the perfect spot for initial base. More rocks. Yes. So we're only halfway through the day, that's why I'm not too worried, but we've got lots and lots of rabbits here. This is wonderful news. So I couldn't be happier, really. Mm -mm -mm. Itching the nose, people. All right, all these bunnies mean that we're basically in good hands at this point. I've got enough flint to make more tools, which is what we really want. There we go. I can build some more traps. Good. Set that there. Another trap here. Essentially, all the rabbits can be caught initially. 
So we're going to have more food than we know what to do with, which is going to be fantastic. Get some more grass. Yeah, look at all this grass. That's right, fantastic. So what we will need, though, more of is twigs. So we will have to leave this zone, which is huge. It's just huge. This is like the largest savanna ever. All right, good. Some twigs up north. A wormhole, even. Wormholes will suck your sanity. But the great thing about them is that you can use them to escape. You can use them to travel long distances instantly. So very soon I will explore the wonderfulness that is whatever is up here. Alright, so I always like to put myself decently close to the beefalo. So, oh, we got a little gift, so I have to build a science machine. Okay. Let's run back. So we're going to establish a kind of semi-permanent camp right by those furry bastards. And I call them that because you'll see when it gets to be mating season how pleasant they are. So let's just plot our path back. They're going to be right over there. So good. They're at the corner of several biomes. We have a path which will help us traverse this area so much faster. I'm in a very good mood today. Very good. It's because I get to spend it with all of you guys. All of my fans, all two or three of you at this point. It doesn't matter how much. I love you all anyway. Just gotta let you know that. Alright. More, more rocks. Yes, we're gonna take a little risk here. Do I have enough food? Oh, Raph, you are still neglecting to feed yourself. Wolfgang required food. And if no food, no Wolfgang. Lots of poop. Good. I'm just going to have to find gold at some point. Black and gold. Black and gold. Black and gold. Alright, right here by the spring meadow, which is so fair, I shall set myself a campsite for those blissfully unaware. I shall make one so great and big, nothing will attack me, not even those dirty pigs. Alright, I don't know why I felt so poetic in that moment, but... I did. I, I regret nothing. I take nothing back. Oh, even spiders up there. Alright, this is an optimal area for basically everything. The exact placement, I don't even care at this point. Yeah, I don't even care. It'll be like, uh, right here. Why don't we just say right here, you know? It's getting close enough tonight. We'll build a campsite. We build one. Yes! Look what happens. We have that, we have some charcoal, which we'll add this to, make it burning hot. Cook our food, cook some of our seeds. We don't want to cook them all. We shall plant some trees here, because why not? It's the first of our forest. We have done great damage by burning several down, so we must build them up again. And since I don't want to just be stuck here and bored, I'm going to take my torch into the night and see if I can't find my way toward those spiders because I'm going to start trapping them. But I need gold. That's what I need. I need gold. So let's find gold. Let's go traverse till we find gold. Because that's another resource that can be kind of annoying to not find. Which, yeah, would precisely be... Let's build another torch just so we have enough backup. Oh, great. What don't I need? Sorry, Ash. You're going to have to stay. Okay, so there's a lot of blockage here. This is a little arpeggio. Ha! Huh, I knew the word, arpeggio. <laughs> it's probably not the word. Okay, so there's that. Let's see. So we figured out there's nothing here. Now we will travel this way. I'd love to say it's east, but it's not really. I mean west. Okay. Put that away. Pull out my trendy dandy axe. Eat my tender morsel. Eat some more 
cook seeds, which provide more health and wellness. Okay, good. So we're going to have access up here to this rich, wealthy source of... Oh, please tell me there's rocks up here. Oh, no. That's what we do need. If you need rocks. Uh, grave sites aren't going to help us because feels, feels, lots of feels. More spiders up here. So we've got a spider rich area. That's good news. Good, perfect. Time that perfectly. Okay. Juicy berries. Let's eat some of those. Let's pump you up, huh? Let's pump you up. Okay, Wolfgang. We're going to run you up here. We're going to get you somewhere safe. Jeez, I've been recording for a while. Oh, probably a little too long at this point. Well, let's see. We got to do something exciting in this episode. Just something to perk your interest. Something to make you feel like I've accomplished things. We're going to try to kill a pig. No, no we're not. That would be stupid. Hi, people. Hello. No? You don't want to be my friend? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm not feeling so good, so let me befriend. Let's see. No, that doesn't work. Apparently you have to give them meat or something for them to really like you. But as you can see, pigs are also a good resource too, so we've discovered something today. Yes. Yes, discovered. Uh, interesting thing. Pigs poop when you feed them. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I have to go out with a bang because I've been recording for a little too long and I need to take on my mortal enemy. Mortal enemy killed. Mortal enemy number two? Nope. I won't be able to divide and conquer. Okay. Can't divide and conquer. So I'm going to try to briefly... Mandrake! Oh guys, this is the best thing I could have found. I found a Mandrake. I have to note this somehow. On my resources. So let's set this trap down. Let's set another trap down just because I can do that. Let's see if we can't catch some spiders! Come here, you bastard. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Got you. Come over here. Come over here. Nope. Come back here. Come back here. Are you kidding me? Okay. Whatever. More monster meat. Got you. Let's see what I get. I got a spider gland. Yes. All right, so I've successfully trapped some spiders. Do I want to? Nope, I want to save this as a resource. All right, so since I can't carry any more, it's the evening and it's literally the evening. It's been a pleasure working with you. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please comment down below. Let me know what you enjoyed, what you liked. Give me another holler, give me a like or so, whatever you'd like to do. It just really helps me know what was good, what was bad. And of course, when you comment, please give me some feedback. Let me know if there's things that I can improve upon. This is a starting channel, so you have a tremendous amount of influence on it. In fact, since I have like 10 subscribers, you have like a 1 in 10 chance, almost a 1 in 10 chance of really making a difference here. So, you know, I'll talk to you. Be my friend. I, I need more. It's been a pleasure. I will talk to you all. Like, subscribe share and i will see you tomorrow or the next video whichever one works